from Nailed It NZ and today I have got some tiered gradient nail art that you can do without using any tools whatsoever. I know you guys like easy nail art so I figured I'll try to keep this as simple as possible. Um, of course you can use brushes if you want to touch it up but you can do it without any tools so that's the main focus of this. Um, thank you for watching, I hope you like this. If you do please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I have two new videos every week and I'll see you later. As always, start off with a base coat to protect your nails from staining and make the nail polish last longer. If you're new around here and haven't seen it yet, I have got a video all about how to make your nail polish last longer, so I will link to that down below. Paint your nails with two coats of white polish and wait for them to dry. I'll have a list of all the products I used down below. Alright, so there's two ways to do this and one is blatantly better than the other, but I was experimenting at the beginning and did it the hard way. So grab your light blue polish and with the brush it comes with, paint a line at the top of your nail, making sure the white is still showing. It's easier to do horizontally, but it is possible to do vertically as well. Focus on making the top of the line straight, don't worry so much about the bottom part as we will just paint over it. I did a slightly better job on the other finger and realised painting horizontally is the way to go. Next I'm getting another shade of blue and using the brush in the bottle again, painting a line starting 3 or 4 millimetres below the top of the last one. Then it's time for another blue, this one a bit darker, and repeat the process, painting a line in the middle of your nail. Also, I'm sure you've noticed the background for these nails. I found a heap of pretty paper in a shop and I thought I'd try it out. Let me know what you think. Is it too much or do you like it? I would love to know so I can decide whether to keep using it or not. Now I'm going to reverse the colours, although you could do whatever you want here. I went back to the last blue and did the same thing, and then back to the light blue and repeated the process. Then I just used the same white from the background and applied this to the tip, trying to make it match the width of the white showing on top. Clean up around your cuticles while that's drying and then apply a top coat, preferably a quick dry one. Bear in mind that some polishes are too sheer to completely cover other polishes, so make sure you either know the polishes you're using really well or test them out first. And that's it! These are really easy to do, they look so much harder than they actually are and I think they look really cute as well. Remember to subscribe for more nail art tutorials and thanks for watching. Next add a light green to highlight part of the leaves, this isn't essential but it does look really good. Finish off by using white polish and your tiny brush to gently add a few little curves inside the roses.